Okay, so I'm going to talk about the setup of this new system here. Some things that are different about this machine from the last one is this machine has a uh, four-way adjustment right here that's designed to allow this mounting face for the thermode to be leveled. So there's two adjustment screws here, two on this side, and this thing is pre-adjusted very, very accurately and very closely uh, swept with an indicator so that this face is straight and everything's lined up. You shouldn't need to adjust anything, but just making you aware that, that this how, that's how this works. This bottom plate is pulled up to the top plate and there's a ball bearing right there in the center that everything can pivot around. Okay, so for the two different board sizes, there's two different nests that have to be changed out in this area right here. And just to get a view of these two nests, the one that has the wide spacing right there is for the big boards and the narrow spacing right here is for the small boards. So right now we're going to set this machine up. I'm going to show you how to load everything and get it running for the small boards. So these screws right here only exist so that you have something to grip onto to pull the board out of this pocket when you need to remove it. That just gives you something to, to get a hold of with some pliers or whatever you need to pull that out. And, uh, it does come up out of there, but it's a little bit stiff. Works a little better if you can get hold of it with pliers and pop it out. So this mounts in by these two flathead uh, screws right here, just like this. So we're going to drop that in place. And the nest does need to be removed and installed while the thermodes are not present, like right now. These are small screws. They don't need to be tightened very tight. Just barely snug them down so we don't strip them out. Now there's four pins, as you can see, sticking out right here. These are 93 thousandths diameter pins, and they're relatively fragile, so you need to be real gentle with these pins putting thermodes on and off. If you bend these, it's going to really make it difficult to get the thermodes on and off. So right here I'm going to show you the thermode arrangement is quite a bit different than it was last time. There's actually several pieces to this thermode. And each one of these it goes on a certain way. And as you can see with this arm right here, it has a spring action to it. So that tip can spring. And that's what provides individual pressure to the four different corners that we're soldering down. So on this thermode, the, the thermode for the small uh, narrow boards has a step in it right here. Each of the pieces has this step. And it's very important that you recognize the difference between this one and the ones for the big board which do not have a step. And that step is for spacing. And the orientation, how these thermos go on here is very important. The first two thermos that go on, the step goes toward the back. Now these fit very close over these pins. The holes don't have a lot of clearance. So they have to be slid on very straight. There's really not any room for it to be crooked or anything. If it's straight, as you can see, it'll slide on, but it's a very close fit. And that's just to keep the thermodes oriented and uh, positioned very accurately. So as you can see, these are being installed here. Slide them on. And again, the step is toward the back. Now there's a spacer between the front set of thermodes and the back set. And this is true for the big boards and the small boards. However, the spacers are a different thickness. The spacer for the small boards is thin, it's 40 thousandths thick. And for the thicker boards, you can see it's considerably larger. So, you gotta pay attention to the orientation of the holes. These only work if they go on one way. Again, it's a close fit slide them on so that provides the gap between the boards where that insulator is in the connector tabs and then the last set of thermos that go on the step that's cut in them comes towards the front is facing you slide this on and the last one that goes on is the one that has the thermocouple now the thermocouple has a strain relief but regardless of that, be very careful handling this thermo this thermo with the wire because it can't you can pop this off, and then it has to be returned to the factory to be repaired. 
First thing I'm going to do just to control this wire is I'm going to plug the, th the uh, plug in on the thermode. That's just to keep it from flopping around. And then slide this one on again. The front row of thermodes, the step comes toward the front of the machine. It's facing you. When those are on, there's a two number four socket head screws that go in this open set of holes right here. Alright, so we got those tightened up. They don't need to be very tight, just kind of snug. And you can see that the four pieces of the thermode are installed in the right orientation. All right, now we're going to go through a soldering sequence. So there's spring tabs here that grip the boards. And you want to align the seam between the boards right under the gap in the thermode. And then you can look right down the gap in the thermode here to see just how it needs to be aligned. I'm going to make sure I've got flux on this connector tab. And then we should be able to just slide the tab in here back to the stop and get the foot pedal to actuate the sequence. Alright, when the head retracts, I'm just going to pull that out, break the tab right there, the tab. Okay, so I've got a 12 volt power source here, and uh, this is the strip, narrow strip we just put together. So I'm going to apply power to it, and you can see we have good electrical connection all the way through it, the entire strip's lit up. take a look at these joints here and they are bending the uh, connector tab before they break loose okay so I'm going to show a change over here from the thermodes for the small uh, for the small ones to the thermodes that are used for the large ones bear with me here let me get the right wrench Alright, so we're going to take these out. First one we want to take off is the one with the, well it doesn't really matter. It might be easier to take this side off. Now it's very important that if these don't come off just as easy as you want, do not start prying on this with any kind of a screwdriver or anything. These should slide off reasonably easy without prying. All I'm doing here is just using this to push a, pull a little on the bottom and just kind of wiggle just a little bit to take it off. Same with this one, just kind of pulling out, getting it to wiggle just a little bit. Unplug the thermocouple and that one's off there. Okay. With those out, now we can take this nest out. Two flathead screws right here and here. And we lift up by these screws here. And slide the nest out of there. The nest for the larger ones has a wider area here. Slide that back in, drop the screws in again. Ready to install the thermodes. Now, of course, the thermodes for the larger um, boards do not have a step in it. 
so the orientation is not as critical. You don't have to worry about where the steps going forward or backward or toward the back or front of the machines. We're just going to slide these on here. Very important that you use the right spacers, which were thicker. They're thicker for this uh, board than they are for the other one. Slide those on. And I always like to install the thermode with the thermocouple and plug last, just so it's not in my way while I'm doing the others. It has to go on last, it has to go on on this side so that the thermocouple is facing forward. And I plug them in first before sliding this on. Gonna install the two screws. Again, these do not need to be tight, they just need to be snugged very gently. And we're ready to run. So we're gonna run these large boards now. Again, there's uh, spring tabs here that help to hold the board. And uh, Again, you line this up, the seam between the boards up, right in the gap in the hot bar. Put this right over it and then actuate with the foot pedal. When the head retracts, you can pull this out. Break it off and do it again. Uh, the cycle for doing the larger boards is just a little bit shorter than the smaller ones. We have to heat the smaller ones up a little slower. Okay, we're going to make a recommendation here based on some things we experienced in test running this. One is that when you push the boards in here, and this is all one board here, but assuming that this was two, we recommend that you take something about an eighth of an inch thick and flat like this and push that back in there because if the boards are shifted you end up getting a short and a cross polarity on it. Um, so push it back in there with something each time you slide that in.